I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about um, the uh, standard FCVs that we've been building here at CFA for, uh, for the VESIT program. Um, we've uh, developed a concept um, of a modular body that uh, can be moved from uh, one chassis to another um, rather than having the standard uh, four-wheel drive ute with a tub and a canopy. Um, we feel that a, um, a purpose-built body in the back is a better way of, uh, of doing it. So we've developed that over, over a number of years through some consultation with brigades. Um, and the plan is to roll out this uh, standard FCV fit out um, to brigades who are interested. Um, it'll save the brigades having to um, project manage their own build um, and provide them with, uh, with uh, an opportunity just to tick the box and uh, order the vehicle. And uh, the uh, vehicle itself is built on a um, on a Ford Ranger um, uh, four-wheel drive cab chassis. We've chosen a Ford Ranger with the 3.2 litre engine and the six-speed automatic transmission. We felt through uh, uh, the trials and testing that we did of this type of vehicle through our training um, department, through our driving instructors, that this provided the best mix in terms of power and uh, drivability. So we've got the uh, Ford Ranger cab chassis. Um, we uh, fit some uh, some accessories to the cab chassis, like side steps, a nugs bar on the front, uh, the driving lights. Um, we do. We also do a standard fit out for um, lights and sirens and uh, livery, um, and we also uh, fit the radios in a common place. Uh, then we build a, a purpose-built module on the back. Um, we've actually uh, designed this around the uh, New South Wales Fire and Rescue Commander vehicles. Um, so it's quite a large body, uh, gives us quite a, a, a big volume, um, which will help um, brigades to fit out with the, with the equipment that they feel necessary for that type of vehicle. Um, we think, we, we see this vehicle having an incident uh, management role in terms of supporting level one incidents and incident management terms. So there's a, there's a few uh, options in the back for, for the brigades. They can, they can choose uh, um, incident management uh, equipment such as whiteboards and desks, um, uh, desktops. Um, or they could also have uh, a um, angle fridge to, to store water and keep it cool. Um, there's also um, uh, enough space in the back to carry a kit bag so if the vehicles uses a strike team leader this vehicle as these types of vehicles often are. So in the, um, in the module itself, uh, the module can be removed from one chassis to another. Um, so the plan is uh, as the, the chassis case clock up, we'll be able to re-chassis the body. Um, so all of the radios, all of most of the equipment is, um, is mounted in, in the body module itself. So it's easily, easily disconnected so that the, the, it can affect the changeover quite quickly, um, which will again reduce costs of brigades. Uh, we've taken delivery of the first one uh, this week. Uh, so uh, we plan on having the remaining 16 vehicles uh, delivered to CFA prior to Christmas.